And now it's time for the Legacy Maker Sports Post Game Report. Hello everyone, Darrell Owens, Legacy Maker Sports Network. We're here live from the Robin Center, and today with me I have Coach Tanner Reese of the Rhode Island Rams. Coach Reese, win 21 on the season, only four losses. This is big for the program You're in your third year with the program. Um, just tell us early, how do you feel about how this season has went for the team and, and how much you love what you've seen from your players? Well, obviously, I couldn't be any happier with how quickly we've turned the program around in three years. Um, and so this season has been really, really special. Um, and that's, the players have uh, have done what they were supposed to do and they've changed this culture and they've changed this program. They've made history. And so obviously I'm very proud of the program, but I'm more really, really proud of these players and how they show up every day. They work hard. They're a great bunch to coach and I truly love them. And, um, you know, they stay together, as you saw today in the game. They fight every day they fight, and it's one game at a time. So um, really, really proud of, of what they've accomplished this far. Awesome. You know, I will say this, like being able to watch the game, doing play by play, the biggest thing that I kept saying during the game is, wow, how amazing these young ladies shoot from the mid-range. I was very impressed. And, and Coach, I mean, I don't know what technique you got going on up there in Rhode Island, but it was amazing. Um, just tell me what you you know thought of how Elmore played today and how Tahan is just, it feels like the team as a whole did well, but those ladies were really killing it from the mid-range. What were your thoughts on them today? Well, everyone says the mid-range is dead. It's either, that's what they teach kids now, chuck up threes or get to the basket. And the mid-range is the worst shot in basketball. And, you take what the defense gives them. So if you got the mid-range and you kill it, and Elmore, and Tahan, and Faposi, that's their best asset is their mid-range. And Desi is a mid-range killer. Um, not having her against Aiden really hurt us offensively. So they were just, they were special today against that 3-2 zone that they threw. It was really imperative we get the ball to the high post and make some shots today and then spray it from there. But, you know, I thought I thought they played really, really well offensively on Big 3. And I call them the Big 3 because they are. They, our team goes as they go, not just offensively, but rebounding-wise too. They, exactly. they do a lot for us on the glass. Well, you know, I, I, like I said, I was super duper impressed. You know, this is my first time actually getting a chance to see uh, Rhode Island. You know, we've seen a lot of teams over the last couple of years, but getting a chance to see them in person today, you, you've done a phenomenal job with this team. Now, last week, obviously, that tough loss to Dayton, but now you get an opportunity to head to Dayton and, and take care of business this week. Uh, what are you telling the ladies heading to that game? Well, we got one game before it. It's our senior night. It's mm -hmm. going to be very emotional. We have some kids that have. They're going to leave us. They've turned this program around. So we got Bonnie's at home. That's what we're focused on. We got to get that win. And after that, then you set your date with Destiny. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be full, God, we'll be full throttle where we have Elmore and we're healthy. And I'd like, I, you know, I want another shot at them. But we got to take, we do not overlook Bonnie's. I, every game I think we can lose. Wow. Every game. This game I was scared to death. Why? Because <laughs> Richmond can really shoot the yes. And so every game I'm, I'm petrified that, oh my God, you know, we're gonna lose, we gotta play well. And, and so no disrespect to anyone in the A-10 because you can get beat by anybody on any given day. So we gotta take care of Bonnie's and then Dayton's in our sights. This is 100% true. My years of being able to see this A-10 um, women's conference has been amazing because you're right, anything can go. The Bonnies have done some really good things over the last couple of years, and so they're definitely going to be a tough contest on senior night. Um, but before we go, uh, anything, any words you want to say to your seniors before that game, of course, that you just want to give them some love beforehand? I, I owe them everything. Um, this program was bottom of the A-10. We were a dog, a beat dog. Um, and Manu and P, they were the first to commit. When you're a loser and you're trying to sell a dream to kids, mm -hmm. I, I owe them everything. So I'll ride and die with them because they committed when no one no one wanted to come to, to Rhode Island. And then they built it and then suddenly Dolly committed and, and the transfer came in and suddenly it became a destination. We were getting kids like Desi Elmore, first team all all big easy, right, all right. we're getting Chan from prom. And so but it started with with those two, and no one else would give us the time of day. I couldn't get an American kid to call me back to save my life. And so, I, we really do. We owe them everything. 
Um, and I, I'll ever forever be indebted to them. They're very, very special kids. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Coach Tammy Reese, Rhode Island Rams. It's not over just yet. Bonnie and then Dayton and then the A-10 tournament where anything can go. It will happen in Delaware. I'm Darrell Owens, Legacy Maker Sports Network. Coach Reese, I appreciate you. Thank, Thank you. you. Until next time.